How do you view your fellow Christians? Do you draw philosophical or theological lines between yourself and others? Do you try to love all people like Jesus? Or do you search for things that would divide you? Israel as a nation had a lot in their history to be proud of. No other people group on earth had ever been given such privileges by God as they had enjoyed. But there was a lot there that wasn't so wonderful as well. Between Egyptian slavery and Canaanite harassment and Babylonian and Persian, Greek and Roman conquests, all of which had tested their trust in God to the core, sadly, God's people had become self-confident and arrogantly exclusive. And this had never actually been God's intention for them. When one goes through pain and pressure like they did, it's natural to begin to see outsiders as a threat. And for Israel, that's exactly what happened. But Paul wanted to explain to his Hebrew friends that in Christ, things were different. Paul wanted them to recognize that all men were their brothers and that the salvation that Jesus secured was for the whole world, for everyone. In his letter to the Hebrews, Paul is encouraging his readers to join not some offshoot of the Jewish faith, but to step into the community of faith that God had always intended to raise up, to share the powerful news of what the life, death, and resurrection of the Messiah would mean for the entire world. Throughout the book of Hebrews, Paul pays tribute to the faith of their ancestors in Israel's past. Paul does not discard Moses' law, but he explains that Jesus lived by it. He does not discard the temple sacrifices as worthless, but he explains how Jesus is the Lamb of God to which they all pointed forward to. Paul expresses how the Gentiles around the world were invited to be heirs along with Israel to what Jesus had accomplished. In the book of Hebrews, what Paul shared helps us to understand with fresh meaning and depth the beauty of Jesus. And he does this in a language that anyone could understand. It's no wonder that someone thought it worth writing down and praise God that they did. I pray that you have been blessed by our study of the book of Hebrews this quarter. May God bless you in a powerful way and may your name be written there in Hebrews Hall of Faith that when Jesus comes very soon, we'll all look up with smiles and joy on our faces and in our hearts, ready to go home to heaven with him and with each other for all eternity.